Well, hello there. Brita Miller here. Welcome to Take a Break with Brita. Come on in. It's a different time of day, but I had quite a busy morning that I want to tell you about. I hope that you're well. Happy Friday. This has been quite the week. Just so much going on in the world, which I don't even need to go there because you know. You know, it's, it's hard. Um, but personally, I just thought you might like to know what, what's, what's been happening around the old Miller household. Uh, so the big news is um, that we did finish the porch. Thank you. Jim is wonderful. Um, he finished doing the, the, the ceiling and that kind of thing, and I finished painting last weekend. And it's taken a long time to dry because of the heat, but it's so wonderful. So um, I think next week we'll go out there for one of our little chats. Um, so Monday was a huge day. We were, um, I got all dressed up and it was so strange going out into the world to record an event in a building with other people. And here's the thing about speaking on a stage um, to a very small audience that was properly distanced that were wearing masks. Kind of hard when you're telling a story and everyone's wearing a mask and you think are they smiling do they like it I mean they're 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 not their heads were nodding and they seemed to like it um, but uh, it was it was it was disconcerting to say the least but it was it was wonderful and I'm really happy with it and I can't wait for you to see the final results on the, at the storytelling event on July 30th um, so this morning we had some unexpected good news and who doesn't like good news? I mean, I don't know about you, but I am so thrilled with any little bit of good news. I hold on to it for dear life. So I'm going to share our, our, our bit of good news uh, that we had this morning. Um, oh, and first of all, I've come up with a new thing and that is, you know, I consider myself a positive person, but I really love negative test results. Just say it. I mean, medical negative test results. It's a good thing. So no personal experience with that, fortunately. Um, well, not taking any kind of testing, um, but just, just putting that out there. Anyway, so this morning, one of the reasons that I wasn't on live earlier was I spent the day with Evan. And um, this is our guy who, the, the watermelon love and birthday boy from a few weeks ago. So. Evan um, is, is, is special and wonderful in many, many ways, not the least of which is now he, as an adult, we're still working to um, finish up the repairs from the cleft palate that he had as an infant. And when, we, when he came into our family, he was nearly two years old and, you know, his personality has not changed a bit. He was funny then, he's funny now, and he's wonderful. Um, so he had the, the cleft palate repaired and he had all kinds of stuff going on. I mean, cosmetic surgery and, and other things. But now, he, because they, they wanted us to wait until he was fully grown, his jaw and his mouth, it's the next step. And, it, and it's hard to believe, but cleft palate repair and the dental work associated with it is not covered by insurance. I mean, a small amount in dental insurance, yes but the prosthetic devices and all those other things um, are typically excluded. Maybe because some folks have cosmetic work done and they lump cleft palate repair into cosmetic work in terms of the insurance companies. So that's the way it is. So, so we knew about it and we, uh, we braced ourselves. We, we were thinking we're talking close to $20,000 for all of this work for him, which must be done. Anyway, because of COVID, this was delayed. We have been um, in this stage and this process and all these appointments with these specialists for the last year. <laughs> and we would make an appointment and then have to wait like two or three months to get the next appointment and do, anyway, we were expecting all this and um, he has to have extractions of the, few real teeth he has left. His, his upper jaw and his lower jaw are completely unrelated and he wears the prosthetic device and over denture that 
brings his jaws together and gives him some teeth and a, and a beautiful smile. He's outgrown the, the piece that he has and he needs to go to the next level. And so one of the options was to remove the uh, permanent upper teeth he has, which is only like five or six teeth, and replace them with implants to hold in the new denture. It's probably more information that you would like to have. But here's the good news. I, the, the, there's the, the one, if you know how much implants cost, they're expensive and he would need six, they thought, and possibly some um, bone grafts. So today, when we meet with the prosthodontist, and I'm really proud that I can say that, the prosthodontist, he has fitted this um, brand new overdenture for him that will fit him after they extract the remaining teeth and looks normal and natural and it's comfortable for him. And this is what he tells me. It's possible that this might be fine just on its own and we might not need to go the next step to implants or bone grafts. That had never occurred to me that it was even an option. So not only will he not have to go through those procedures, maybe, you know, he didn't promise it. I just think that's wonderful. I just think that's really great news. So we're moving forward. We have to set up the, the next appointment for, you know, it'll be like a day long surgical procedure, general anesthetic to, to do that many extractions. Um, but we're so happy for him that we're moving forward and he's gonna have this, this done and um, it may not end up costing a car, you know. <laughs> so that's really good news um, and it's also, even better news that he might not have to have several procedures. One procedure might do the trick. So we will say a prayer, we'll cross our fingers, um, we'll do whatever we need to do to, uh, to wish him well. So I guess that's what I wanna to suggest to you, is that it's not all gloom and doom. It's not all bad news in the world. Things are not all falling apart. If we focus on all the negative, we focus on all the stress, and we focus on all the things that we can't do and our fears for what's going to happen in the fall, um, how are things going to turn out, we don't know. We don't know. But what we can do is, um, is do the best we can with what we do know. And that information changes all the time. So I'm not thinking that the surgeons lied to me or didn't tell me the truth when we talked about the the initial plan the steps of needing the extractions and then the implants um it it is now it has evolved in terms of the way his mouth is responding and and the technology and and what they're able to do and i love it and it's great news so just as the information about covid has changed and evolved um, since this new virus came out four months ago the researchers, the doctors know a lot more. They have changed the initial um, ideas about masks and about um, how it's contagious and all the things that we need to do to be safe and what it, what it means, right? So this is good. We get more knowledge. We know better. We do better. So it's Friday and I'm delighted that we have a porch that I'm looking forward to enjoying. We have some really good news about um, about Evan's mouth and, and the, the repairs and all things that are going on there. I hope that there's some good news in your life. Maybe it's just that you uh, your garden, that things are, are popping up and growing. Speaking of gardens, we have been enjoying cucumbers. We have some really rock hard green tomatoes on the, on the stalks, but they're there and no critters have gotten to them yet. Uh, so we're really happy about that and uh, the peppers are, are coming in so if I could become a gardener and and have this little garden patch that's growing anything could happen just saying <laughs> so I'm excited about that small victories small victories and a perspective of hope and optimism so cautiously optimistic moving forward with with a good heart and, and a plan and know that, that, that you're doing your best and I hope that you're, you're safe, that your family's safe. And um, for those who think this is not a serious virus, who think it's a hoax, who thinks it's, you know, 
I hope they're right. I hope this is much to do about nothing. I hope tens of thousands of people do not get sick and do not die. That would be wonderful news. But on the off chance that it is real, on the off chance that the scientists and the doctors do know what they're talking about and that they're not lying about the people who are getting very ill and who are dying, I'm gonna wear a mask. I'm gonna stay socially distant. I'm gonna be very mindful when I go out and about to take care of business. And I'm going to take calculated risks that um, are intentional so that I don't put myself or my family at risk and that I don't put other people at risk because that's what civilized society does and that's what people do. So it isn't about my liberty or your liberty or anyone wanting to tell you what to do or how to live. It's about how we can live together and care for each other. So I'm, uh, I, oh, another little bit of good news. I realize some people are asking me about doing things beyond these, um, these short videos. So I'm, I'm cooking up some ideas and um, you might be interested. And if you're not, that's great. And if you, and if you are, that's wonderful. So I'll let you know about them. Um, it's, it's kind of a take a break program that I'm thinking about. And uh, I think it'll be fun and helpful and give you a, uh, just a little need a burrito when you need one <laughs> and available to you that can help you um, just move forward in a very positive, positive way. So this has been Take a Break on a Friday afternoon. I hope that you're well and that you have a great weekend and that you plan something special, a break that you can look forward to, whether it's a walk outside, um, a bike ride, going for a nice drive, finding some water that you can dip your toes in. Um, but it's something that you can enjoy this glorious summer that we're in the midst of. So enjoy yourself, be well, and I'll see you soon. Take a break before you break.